Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Narrated that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Paradise is beneath the feet of mothers. And when asked by a man, whom should I serve better, my mother or father? The Prophet said, your mother, your mother, your mother, and then your father. No superior, there is no superiority for an Arab over a foreigner and except in their good deeds. All people are equal like the level teeth of the comb. Go in quest of education even on to China. To spend more time learning is better than spending more time playing. One learned man is more difficult on the devil than a thousand ignorant worshippers. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. God prefers that Al-Kaaba, the holy site of Islam, is destroyed and rebuilt something like 100,000 times. I'm not positive about the number. Then one drop of blood be shed. At one point, the polytheists attacked Muslims. The Muslim military succeeded in defeating the polytheists, but they eventually took refuge inside a fort. The Muslim military sieged the fort and waited. But then, Muslim men started to get ill and sick, and so people approached the Prophet and said, O Prophet, there is a water stream that supplies this fort with water. If we poison the water, people would have to come out. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked, But don't their children, women, and elder, and civilians stay there too? People said yes. Prophet Muhammad then said, You are not then allowed to poison the water because that would be harming their civilians, their innocent men, women, and elder. In the first battle against Islam, when the polytheists attacked Muslims, in the Battle of Badr, there were only 313 Muslim fighters versus more than 1,000 polytheistic fighters. In, the divine, in a divine victory, Muslims defeated the polytheists. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told each prisoner of war from the polytheists, you can gain your freedom by teaching 10 Muslims how to read and write. Thus, he actually demonstrated the first model, not only for learning and importance of education, but also in regard of prisoners of war, how to treat them. He treated them like human beings. And as the Holy Quran said, or as the Holy Quran says, وَأَنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٌ عَظِيمٌ You are of a highly exalted moral character. Prophet Muhammad was nicknamed the honest and the faithful. He had actually succeeded in business, becoming the most successful businessman of his time through honesty and trustworthiness. Also noteworthy, Prophet Muhammad, contrary to the people at the time, when he was granted, granted Al-Kawthar, his daughter, rather than being ashamed like was the case with others, Prophet Muhammad presented Fatima to the public and said, Fatima is a piece of me, whoever hurts her, hurts me. And whoever angers her, angers me. Sayyid al kawthar Fatima al-Zahra, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, was the first doctor, female doctor in the history of mankind. She went with him to the battlefield, treated his wounds in the most professional manner. She was also the first advocate. She, after the death of her father, Prophet Muhammad, Lady Fatima al-Zahra stood and faced people and said, This is my land, I don't want it to be taken away. She, stopped, she advocated and presented evidence that the land belonged to her when they took her land from her. Lady Zainab, the daughter of Fatima, the granddaughter of Prophet Muhammad, also was the first female reporter in the history of mankind. She also stood and informed people, educated people, and that's also a long uh, lecture. Those who see righteousness or the truth and remain silent are like silent devils, Prophet Muhammad says. The best jihad or the greatest jihad struggle is a word of justice before a tyrant leader or before a tyrant ruler. 
Let us victor our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by sharing these hadith with everybody on Facebook. Let us drown Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube with these hadith. Let us make from this insulting film an opportunity to tell the world about our Prophet, whose book, the Holy Quran, began with the word Iqra, read in the name of God, your Lord who created. And the Quran, after all, means read. Let us share this book with the world. Let us share the life of Prophet Muhammad, the true life, the true spirit of Prophet Muhammad with the world. It is your responsibility to share this and others on Facebook, on Twitter, everywhere. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Praise Allah.